Have you ever wondered why it's crucial to maintain clean harvesting tools? Let's dive right in. Keeping your tools clean isn't just about appearances, it's about the health of your garden, the longevity of your tools, and your overall success as a gardener. Dirty tools can spread disease, making your hard work go to waste. On the other hand, clean tools last longer, saving you money in the long run. Keeping your tools clean is more than just about aesthetics, it's about the health of your garden. The first step in maintaining clean harvesting tools is removing visible dirt and debris. Let's start with the basics, your shovels, hoes, and rakes. A stiff wire brush is usually all you need to sweep away the dirt. It's simple, effective, and keeps your tools in prime condition. Now, for your pruners, loppers, or other cutting tools, a rag is your best friend. Wipe the blades clean, making sure to get into all those nooks and crannies. But what about stubborn sap? It can be a real challenge. Don't worry, we've got you covered. A little rubbing alcohol or a good sap remover can make the job a breeze. Just a few swipes and you'll see the sap start to disappear. It's like giving your tools a mini spa day. Remember, a clean tool is a happy tool, and the first step towards that is removing any visible dirt or debris. Once you've removed the visible dirt, it's time to give your tools a relaxing bath. Now how does one prepare a bath for their garden tools, you might ask? Well, it's simple. You'll need some warm water and a splash of mild dish soap. Why dish soap, you wonder? It's excellent at dissolving any remaining dirt and grease, leaving your tools squeaky clean. Now let's get soaking. Submerge your tools in the soapy concoction and let them enjoy a well-deserved soak. This is the perfect time to put on some music, maybe even dance a bit. But don't get too carried away. You'll need to scrub the tools, especially those tricky crevices, to ensure all the dirt is banished. And remember, rinse thoroughly afterwards. You don't want any soap residues lingering. A good soak and scrub will ensure your tools are as clean as a whistle, ready for the next step. Be it, now that your tools are clean, it's time to disinfect them. This step is vital, as it helps prevent the spread of diseases in your garden. Here's how it's done. Start by preparing a solution of one part bleach to nine parts water. Alternatively, you can use a commercial disinfectant. Once your solution is ready, it's time to soak the metal parts of your tools. Make sure to immerse them fully in the solution for about 30 minutes. This duration allows the disinfectant to fully work its magic and kill any lingering pathogens. While you're doing this, remember to put safety first. Always wear gloves and eye protection to safeguard against any splashes of the bleach solution. After the soak, thoroughly rinse your tools with clear water. This step ensures that no disinfectant residue remains on your tools, which could potentially harm your plants. Disinfecting your tools not only keeps them clean, but also prevents the spread of disease in your garden. Keep your green thumb healthy and your garden thriving with this essential step. After the deep clean, it's time to dry and store your tools properly. Drying is a step that should never be underestimated. Leaving your tools wet can result in rust and degradation, affecting their overall quality and efficiency. To prevent this, give your tools a good wipe with an old towel, then leave them to air dry completely. Now let's talk about storage. The best way to keep your tools in top-notch condition is to store them in a dry and protected environment. Hanging them up or storing them in a toolbox can prevent them from picking up dirt and moisture from the ground. It's also a good idea to regularly oil the metal parts of your tools. This not only helps to prevent rust, but also keeps your tools working smoothly and efficiently. Proper drying and storage not only prolong the lifespan of your tools, but also ensure they are ready for your next gardening adventure. While maintaining clean harvesting tools may seem straightforward, it's easy to make mistakes. A common misstep is bypassing the disinfection stage. Even if your tools sparkle, invisible troublemakers could be hiding, ready to wreak havoc on your plants. Each step in this process, from debris removal to proper storage, is a critical part of ensuring your tools are clean and ready for use.